This is One on One. One of the things I really enjoy, especially enjoy here at the NJA convention in Atlantic City is meeting some of the educators that are featured in a wonderful series called Classroom Close-Up, seen on NJTV, our public television station in the state. Here she is right now. She is Vondalyn Fannin, technology education teacher and chairwoman, Science Committee, Franklin Elementary School in the state capital. Yes. Trenton. Yes. So we're about to see this uh, classroom close-ups uh, video that is just so powerful in so many ways. When did you know you wanted to go into teaching? Mm. When I was in college, and one of my professors um, really was a mentor, and we talked about a lot of things, and I shied away from teaching, actually, initially. Mm. Um, I wanted to be a lawyer. But um, I did my first class, actually, in college, and she was very impressed. And she told me that that was my true passion and I should follow it. Well, you did the right thing because what you're about to see, check this out. This is about a science fair. What are the ages of the kids? Um, the, well, actually, it's the entire school, kindergarten through fifth grade. Our younger children do their projects with their teachers in class. Um, second, third, fourth, and fifth this year did their own individual projects. This is absolutely categorically amazing. Check out this video. It tells a powerful story about the work you are doing with your colleagues, but also the impact that it's having on students and their parents. And we'll come back and talk right after mm -hmm. this. What happens to the marine life when the oil is spilled into the ocean? I reflect it into the mirror so it can reflect the light up. This science fair at Franklin Elementary is not your typical school event. The entire school is involved in the science fair from kindergarten through fifth grade. Not only do all students participate, but they also judge each other's work. We have a Kids' Choice Award for second grade, third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grade. And all of our boards are numbered so the kids don't know who's who, and they have to vote on their best. So what you do is put the peroxide in both of them. I did an experiment called hot and cold water. My mom told me with this. My hypothesis is I think the temperature will change because the temperature starts at zero degrees Fahrenheit, and if you put the thermometer in the cup filled with hot water, the temperature will change. Making it a process where it's student-driven, I think is the, the best part about it because it's not me telling you you have to do this. Gummy bear zone. My question was, will these gummy bears dissolve? If so, how? Actually, water can make a gummy bear grow. I thought that the water will make the gummy bear dissolve, but it made it grow. This is the water. When I put this in the water for 12 hours, this will happen. It turned bigger, like this, but it lost its shape a little. During the day, all students visit the science fair, and that evening, many parents come to see their child's work. Can you come sign in? This is my project on how magnets work. The reason it can stick is because this is made out of iron, and iron is the king of magnetics. Earth has a magnetic field, and the, the sun has a seven times stronger magnetic field. So many times we don't know how the things work, and I think this is a good opportunity to learn how things work. It's a nice way for the parents to connect with school, because um, it's not necessarily about homework. It's about exploring something that their child is interested in. My project is oobleck, and when you punch it, it's a solid, and when you put your hand slowly, it's a liquid. Like me, wait, me, me and my dad, we used um, all these materials and we tried four different motors and they all didn't work until we found the right one. We encourage them, their peers are encouraging them. Um, that child that might have been a little reluctant to do a project is now thinking, oh, well maybe I can do this. I want every child to walk out of here feeling successful. I gotta tell you, when I watch that video, one of the things that strikes me the most is, first, that students are, they're, they're actually giving feedback and judging other students? Yeah. How did that come about? Um, we, we decided as a committee that the children should have input, and um, they, we have actually done this before, but this year, it really went over really well. Um, 
children are used to do, using rubrics and judging, and our kids are really competitive. So it was a natural fit. They like having the opportunity to shine. So um, just it's something natural that they do in class anyway. So it just lended over into what we were doing really nicely as um, an added addition to evaluating instead of just always the teacher's yeah. input. But the other thing is the parents mm -hmm. involved. Yes, Talk very. About that. Um, we have a lot of parents that, um, with the older children in particular, um, they help them with typing, research, um, whatever it is. Sometimes the kids do things um, that are a little bit challenging, and the parents will come to school and ask us for input. So we have a lot of a lot of parents every year, bills and bills, um, with our capacity, with our parents understanding how they can help our children mm. at home because they're at home with them. We give them all the materials that they need to get a good start, but the kids have to actually select their topics. And sometimes the topic may be something that the parents are not really sure how to guide them on. Mm. So we'll work with the parents so that the kids can be successful. What do you think this does for many of the young people who are involved in what we just saw? What impact, longer term impact do you think it is having on them? Um, the, the long term is that we do, really do have children who are interested in the science fields. So the whole STEM thing, science, technology, mm -hmm. engineering and math, mm -hmm. more are going into it? Yes. Well, I mean, this is not new to Trenton. We used to have an engineering program many years ago. Um, but this I, is a different way of approaching it. Yeah, but it's not new to Trenton. We have a tendency to have programs that come in and out. Um, so I'm glad to see STEM come back to, to our area and to have the full support as far as funding to really push it through all the grade levels, um, especially because we have a group of children in our school and many other schools that really have an interest in science and technology and engineering, and we really want them to pursue that. But you know, what I was really trying to get at is what you've done here, mm -hmm. this science fair, if you will, your idea? No. It's a, it's a collaborative effort as, as staff members. Um, I worked with a great team of people. We've been doing this for a couple of years now, and it's, it's gotten bigger and bigger. Mm. Um, every year we sit down and we think, of, we listen and talk about you what tweak worked. tweak it, change in, it up? Yeah, every year. So like this year was a tweak when we talk, really brought in the student input. And um, usually the fifth and the fourth graders were the ones that we're evaluating each other's projects, but this year, well, in the tape, you'll see from second through fifth grade, they're actually going around and they're really evaluating each other. One to 10, mm -hmm. you love your job? Oh yeah, it's beyond a 10. It, come on, it's not beyond it's a 10. It's beyond a 10. I've been doing this for over 20 years. So if you've been, people say, <laughs> even the best teachers burn out, you say? Because you can't be, but I you mean, can't you be more than days. 10. You have your days, but that doesn't mean that I don't love it any less. Love it. I love it. Not like it, love it. Love it. Love the kids? Yeah. It's personal for you, isn't it? I've been doing um, teaching now for 23 years, middle school, elementary school. It doesn't get old. Mm -mm. And uh, I just want to thank you so You're much welcome. on behalf of all of us who have benefited from public schools. My dad was a public school social studies oh. teacher in Newark, New Jersey, okay. my teacher at Broadway Junior High School. Wow. And uh, my two sisters are educators. My father's two sisters are educators. Okay. And um, I just want to say, you are an extraordinary representative of this extraordinary profession of public school teachers. I want to thank you so much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And I appreciate the opportunity to talk. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET Studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by TD Bank, the New Jersey Education Association, New Jersey Council of County Colleges, Summit Medical Group, MD Advantage Insurance Company of New Jersey, the North Ward Center, and by Fedway Associates. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.